Thirdly, a legacy of spiritual power. As I said this morning in Bible class, not everyone involved in the Reformation did everything we would expect them to do, and looking at the downfall of the Reformation is for another time. However, if you believe in the work of the Holy Spirit, there is no denying that this movement was propelled by the power of God. No denying at all. There was no localized revival that could be manipulated. It turned nations upside down. And no surprise that the Lord used men like Luther and the other men who stood firm against all the threat of Rome and their society to stir the hearts of others. As Luther stood resolutely in his stand against the most powerful organization in the world, being prepared to die for the conviction that the Bible had more authority than the monolithic Roman church, he stirred the hearts of his countrymen he made them realize what was at stake. And when he finally translated the scriptures for them to read, they were so hungry to read it because they realized this is the very thing this man was willing to die for. I must know its contents. They were moved. People were moved by their devotion and conviction. Fire spreads, beloved. Fire begets fire. Why we may live in a time where the church is very cold, and at times at a low ebb, our inclination is to blame everyone else and say, well, they're so cold and that church is so cold and the problem lies outside of ourselves. But I tell you something I learned very early in my Christian life. If there is a desire in my heart for revival, for God to move, to see God work, I must look inward and begin with me. It's the power of God on my life. That is my responsibility. That is my concern. For God nowhere says that because of the coldness of others, you will not know His power. Nowhere. In the midst of a cold age, when the church is dying, there are individuals who can rise up and know the outpouring of the Holy Ghost with power. They can go against the tide. And be those who are very much different in spirit. Every revival has that anyway. Every move of God has someone who stands to the fore and has a different spirit about them. Even through the Word of God, is that not what we find? We find in the declension of Israel over and over again. This declension was stemmed by usually one individual who had their heart right before God, and God says, you're my man, you're my vessel, you're the one I can use because you have a heart for me, and I'm going to make you Israel's deliverer. 